What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more free-to-play action in Idle Heroes, and today, of course, we're on the free-to-play account, but we got some stuff we want to get done. No, we're not really touching the Easter event yet, I will maybe speed run this today, we'll see. Uh, but the one big thing I really want to try to get done is, uh, our Eloise is getting, she's, she's really strong. She's carrying our team very well on her back, but we are oh so close to unlocking Tower of Dream, which is this weekend. Now, we only have three stages left until 650 and Tower of Dream, so I don't know exactly what type of team composition we need to run here, but we need to try to get this ticks to blow things up for us so that we can win this level very easily. We already took out one of the DAs. The so much damage i don't know how we are gonna get past this wave luckily the last one we came across that was this wave the ticks was all we needed and i'm almost wondering if we need a stronger ticks because this is this many actives is dangerous so here's my idea Here, here's what i'm thinking do we have any carries on our account we do we have three carries let's level them all up to level 100 I think we're going to go with actives on each one of them to try. Oh, come on. Where, come on. Where's the upgrade button? Jeez. Sometimes it's so, so slow. Uh, we're going to need some energy artifacts. So where are all of our energies right now? Um, don't really need that on you. Wall deck, I want it on you. We, of course, have all the tixes. Maybe we don't even use the wall deck. Maybe here's what we do. We go energy artifact here and energy artifact here on two of the carries. And not the third one. And we drop wall deck in Ignis. And we instead run a double carry setup. Question is do they get their. I believe no matter what they're going to get their actives off. So that's good. Getting rid of actives though is really important though. Because that's how we're going to die to the Amon Ra like severely. The other thing is that healing curse is just straight up wrecking our faces. And the fact that, oh man, she's the only one alive is part of the problem here. What if we run the Penny? If Penny's alive, there's always a chance that curse goes on Penny instead. Okay, I think Penny is definitely going to be required in this one. I think having one of those carries is nice for some energy drain, though, potential. We really just need our Tixes to pop off completely. But the big thing is we need to make sure Penny stays alive until Amon Ra's do their basic attack. So I think this team setup will work right here. This is going to be the hardest one for our Eloise to do here. Ooh, there's an active. I don't like that. Actually, active's not bad. Well, it is bad. Yeah, it's still bad. <laughs> I almost wish we just had more baby Tixes at this point. I don't think we have any more of them. Yeah, those actives just do too much da That was really close with the Tixes blowing up. I think we can get this one done with enough attempts. I just don't know if I want to spend gems to try to finish it. I feel like that would be the smart move. What is our Eloise running right now? She's got Control Purify. I wonder if instead we need to just make her very tanky. Probably what we need to do. We could also run her super tank mode. That could help. Penny, um, there's not really anything else to do with Penny right here, is there? I mean, she's pretty much, she just kind of is what he is, or is what she is. We might do a few attempts, though. It's only five per magic droplet, but I do think keeping the Penny alive is important for those curses right there. I mean, we could just try putting the wall deck in as well instead of the carry and just say forget the carry. Let's buy like five attempts, 25 gems. That's not a whole ton. Maybe having the wall deck in here too will help out a little bit. It'll give Eloise some extra type healing here. Oh, she went down, which means, yeah, those, the actives are really, like we do need to prevent the actives too, which is why I do think the carries are so important here. Because if we get hit with too many actives, the Amon Ra's are just going to do so much ping damage 
This is looking a little promising though. End of round, yes, yes. I'm so happy. This wave is by far one of the most annoying waves for us to deal with. Uh, honestly, we probably can just go through with our team that we currently have set up and it should work fine from here on out. Even with a super tanky, uh, Eloise, I think she's going to be plenty strong enough to finish this tower out. Yeah, she's taking like no damage from these Aspens. Perfectly fine. The last one is a tough one though because it is an Amon Ra Ada wave. And again, those Amon Ra's can really, really wreck us here. We can kill some of them off though, that would be perfect. Oh, it's gonna be close. I think we can get it done because I really wanna start going in Tower of Dream immediately and start collecting more Celestial Island resources for when we get a V4 hero, which I mean, we're not that far off. Oh, please don't die. Yes, we did it. We did it. We got Tower of Dreams unlocked. Wait, why am I in depth five? <laughs> that totally glitched out. That was totally a glitch because that's pretty much I was on depth five or six on my main account. Which is just really strange, like really, really strange. Let's get you set back up in your offensive setup because honestly, I kind of prefer her in the offensive setup here. We'll go back to the block attack stone too. Let's see if we can get Tower Dreams level one complete as well. Now, luckily, we got some up heroes we can kind of chuck in here as well. So why not give it a try and see how these battles go? It is only depth one. Eloise is absolutely, it's another reason why Eloise is so good in the early game as one of your first E5 heroes is because she can also do Tower Dreams. She beats all those Mimways for you. She needs a little assistance from like a 10 star Ticks, maybe even a nine star Ignis. And then you can really start progressing. You guys can see here, like she's doing depth one as a cakewalk. And you really want to try to get as many up heroes in your lineup as possible. Um, who are the other up heroes? Rogan. Do we really not have a Rogan in our bag? Uh, I think it's probably worthwhile to just summon one of him out and just chuck him in the lineup too. <laughs> just throw him in the team. Why not? We can get rid of that Ignis, throw in the Rogan instead, use as many up heroes as possible. We'll stick with the wall deck just because I feel like he kind of synergizes a little bit better. We still are rocking the 10 star ticks though. Although, you know what? Ticks doesn't really do anything for us anymore because maybe Penny will be the better option here. I think we're going to be just perfectly fine though. Like, let's just smash a bunch of these waves out because we're like taking no damage in this difficulty whatsoever. They're having a hard time to even den Eloise's HP pool, which is just really, really awesome. Very cool for us. Yeah, Tix is doing absolutely nothing now. He does count as a ghost, though. So let's see how many of these waves we can crush through. <sighs> Carry Mim. This could be difficult, especially having weak heroes on our team. We might have to just simply remove them. We might need to run this just like a Mim wave and only run the Eloise. Although she seemed to be able to take the damage. Honestly, we might run out of rounds in this setup because we have to try to kill all these carries at the same time. And that is something Eloise really struggles with. Please die right here, Mim. Yes. Okay, we got the clear. That is perfect. Dangerous wave, but somebody's got to clear it, right? Let's keep them on going here. I think depth one is going to be very simple for us overall. Uh, the Drake defense down may present somewhat of an issue for us, though. As we lose our allies, eventually it will end up on our Eloise, which means she won't be able to block and she won't be able to counterattack, which will be really, really bad for us. Yeah, there's the defense down, which means no more counterattacks, which means no more healing. We need to throw someone in this lineup who's going to be a little tankier, like our Penny. Our Penny will probably be able to absorb a few more hits and let us get a few more attacks off. The bloodthirst, or not bloodthirst, sorry, the uh, the blood frenzy should give her a little bit more healing to live one extra round. Oh, she died at the end of the round. This one could be a difficult one for us. We'll have to see if we can clear it. If we can't, we can't. We've already gotten to Tower of Dreams, which is like the big goal for the week is I wanted to finish Tower of Oblivion, and it seems like we managed to do that. 
Oh, Penny's going to die end of round at the black hole mark, isn't she? Oh, no, not quite. But again, no counterattacks means no victory for us. So I'll try to smash this on my own. But hey, we managed to get Tower of Dreams open. We got Tower of Oblivion done. This girl is amazing. I absolutely love her. Her combined with Tix is awesome. We might decide to feed Tix off at this point. Finish the wall deck and keep going on. Uh, I guess we could always regress the ticks and build something else to keep the ticks copies, which would probably be a good idea. Probably a good idea. We'll see. Hopefully you guys enjoy this and let me know what you guys think about the free play. And I'll see you guys next time.